Hello, this is Mr. Lou, and I am your 7-Minute Sensei. Uh, today, uh, should I not be able to be with you in person, I want to provide an overview of hardware. The focus of your midterm questions will be on hardware. So let's first of all talk about the uh, sensor, central processing unit, or the CPU, the microprocessor that uh, resides on the motherboard inside your computer. If you're looking inside your computer, there would be some type of processor there. And that is, think of it kind of a traffic control system that directs input and output from your computer. The operating system or disk operating system is the software that provides instructions on file management, file handling procedures, uh, input and output. Uh, it is the software uh, component uh, in your computer that helps um, with the operation of your computer. Next, let's talk about RAM or random access memory. Random access memory is accessible memory, uh, dynamic memory that's volatile. Uh, once the computer's turned off, everything stored in that RAM or random access memory is wiped out. Uh, it is typically where you would find all your working files. These are files, if you imagine your desktop, that you would want to have uh, readily accessible. Okay, That's RAM. ROM is read-only memory. Read-only memory is typically a, a set of instructions that the computer needs at startup or at boot, and uh, it is not accessible. It is non-volatile uh, uh, because it's just stored permanently there. Uh, and that's part of ROM or read-only memory. I need to talk to you about hard drives. Uh, the traditional hard drive, uh, we're talking about um, a magnetic platter, and this is where all your uh, data is stored, and uh, that platter spins, and uh, that's the typical hard drive. Um, Solid-state drives, on the other hand, or SS. Uh, D drives, these uh, are like your flash memory. And uh, these uh, are faster, uh, more expensive than uh, your typical hard drive, and they're often your secondary drive on your computer. Input and output devices. Uh, this mouse right here, right here, uh, this is a type of input device. Uh, the keyboard, the keyboard is a type of input device. We can send some instructions or some signals to uh, the computer to do something. And then uh, when you're looking at output devices, uh, it could be anything from, let's say, the monitor that I'm looking at right now. Um, a printer is a type of output device. A speaker is a type of output device. The camera that I'm using is an input device. The, um, trying to think of what else do we have here. I mean, if we talked about um, headphones, okay, those would be a type of output device. Uh, so there are many inputs and output devices. Next, let's talk about the speed of your computer, the clock speed. Uh, the clock speed is uh, rated in gigahertz gigahertz okay so that that is just a um a measurement of how fast your computer is finally uh let's just do a quick summary of kilobyte megabyte gigabyte and terabyte so a kilobyte is 1000 bytes a megabyte is 1 million uh bytes or 1000 kilobytes then a gigabyte is one billion, one billion uh, bytes. Um, so that's a, a gigabyte. And finally, a terabyte. A terabyte is 1,000 gigabytes. So we've got a kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, and terabyte. And the terabyte being the largest uh, in size. And then the kilobyte or the byte is the smallest measurement of uh, memory, okay? So this is Mr. Lou, and I am your 7-Minute Sensei saying,
Good luck on your midterm exam.